What's going on guys? Today I've got the Mara Phone Z1 here and we're going to do my one week later review. So I've been using this phone on and off for the last week and this is going to be my basic opinion on it. I'm not going to go into too much detail as we can save that for a later video but what I'm going to do is tell you how I feel about this phone over the last week and basically tell you a few more details about the specs as well as showing you a little bit of what the camera can do and a bit of gaming for you as this is something that people have asked for. So I've had this phone for a week as I said and I found it extremely good. Now this phone gets looks because it looks absolutely stunning and you can really see that here it looks even better in real life it has all these sort of colors that come off the back of it and people just don't really know what that lion stands for i just think the logo really stands out against the crowd especially against some of these other brands and i think when you tell the story of mara phones people are actually genuinely very interested in it so overall in terms of what public opinion is on it so far i think it's been very positive and people are just interested to see what it really is and i also think the design of this phone is incredible now I much prefer the white version some people may have different opinions but I think the white looks extremely clean on this and I like that sort of silver trim around the outside as well I think that looks really good and you have all these also little silver bits around the camera node there and the fingerprint scanner along with the actual line being silver as well so there's all these little little bits around it and I think it looks really good so design wise and people perception wise it's a win for me and I would genuinely be out there to say this is one of the better design phones I've seen for a long time and I'm willing to give it a solid 9.5 out of 10 in design wise i think it looks great i love the design screen wise it's very bright screen now obviously this isn't one of the brightest screens i've ever seen that being said it's a lot brighter than i was expecting it to be you can see there when i opened up that app that the colors are extremely crisp and you can really see here that they're very accurate now the camera won't pick it up fully but the colors are crisp and the brightness is extremely bright for what i was expecting as i said in the previous video mara phones double this as a HD plus display and I'd have to agree with them there the display is good when I was watching videos scrolling on news it was there and it was good and there was no delay the screen can't fault it very very good now I have taken a few photos with this phone as well and I will show you them now make up your own opinion but I think the photos are very very good especially for the camera actual size so you've got a 16 megapixel camera here followed by an 8 and followed by a 2 so you're going to get some good photos because the camera is good but I wasn't expecting it to be this good so I'm impressed as well let me know know what you guys think. Here are some of my photos. And now I'm going to throw in some of my selfies as well. So it does have a 13 megapixel selfie camera. So along the same lines as the main camera, it's got up on the higher end of selfie cameras. So again, some good selfies here, hopefully. <laughs> It does have face and fingerprint recognizer. Now, I haven't set up my face on the Z1, but I had set it up on the X1, and the X1 was extremely snappy. I didn't have time to check it up on the Z1 yet. But the fingerprint scanner is very, very quick as well, and I have been impressed. Also, I feel like the fingerprint scanner is placed in a very convenient place. You can see it's placed essentially right there, and for my hand size, that is basically perfect. I mean, I couldn't really pick it anywhere else. When I picked the phone straight up, I was like, oh, what's that on the back? And I realized that's the fingerprint scanner, and my finger went, straight into it so there's clearly some thought behind that there and they've placed it in the perfect place in my opinion now this phone does have nfc and i haven't had a full chance to use google pay with it yet but it does have nfc so that does work and the battery life on this is extremely good now i haven't been using this as my daily phone but i have been using it practically every day this week and i've only charged it a couple of times as i said in the previous video it is a 4000 mile battery so it's gonna last you a while anyway but this yeah it's extremely well managed clearly within the system and it works very very well and although some of the components are perhaps demanding the battery seems to manage it and handle it and that's probably down to the a25 mediatek helio chipset inside this managing the whole thing anyway but yeah i believe overall it's done a very good job and it has managed the battery life very very well now this phone does one on android 10 so i'm very familiar with it so there's obviously no complaints there android 10 is a perfect version of android in my opinion and it works extremely well and the skin on this is extremely clean it does give me a sort of realme ui-esque feel with it being extremely clean and simple-esque i think it looks great and i think it does the job and everything's very obvious to what it is i have seen some ui skins previously that just are a little bit too confusing and i'm just not sure what some apps are but this is very obvious very clean works very well so overall ui 
very, very good. All right, guys, so now we're going to jump into a little bit of gaming and see how this phone actually handles the games. This phone is dual SIM, now I only run one SIM, I haven't really put a SIM in it yet, but it is dual SIM and also has an SD slot in there as well for expandable storage if you needed that. So that's a great function to have alongside the device and that I can use every day if I wanted to. Now the price of this phone, as I said in the previous video, is currently £259.99 and you can get that straight away now on ephones.com or Amazon, so I'll leave the description in the below where you can check it out. But yeah, I think that's a good price for a phone like this, especially for the reason behind Mara phones. Now I have said this in the previous video, so sorry if I feel like I'm repeating myself but I feel like I have to emphasize this when I'm talking about Mara phones now the reason the price is maybe slightly higher than the market value for the components inside it is the sustainability of the device and the whole mission plan behind Mara phones now if you want to know more about what that really means please check out our video in the description below and it'll hopefully help you understand more about what Mara phones are about but yeah guys overall impressed with this phone and I'm impressed with mainly the looks people give me when I pull this out of my pocket people are like what's that especially when I'm walking around work I usually have a different phone because I'm doing it over a week and this is one that people mainly have said what is that because I think the lion on the back as I said really is a standout feature and people want to listen when I say that it's an African brand sustainability is the key factor there and some of the other factors that Mara phones stand for anyway guys so I rate this phone a solid 8.9 out of 10 and it could possibly go up to that 10 out of 10 if I was using it more frequently what do you guys think are Mara phones doing the right thing are are they taking a step in the right direction? Let us know your opinion in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.